Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today we want to talk about Request Network and this has been flying under the radar. It's not a new project, it has been out for quite some time. In fact, it has been out since 2017 according to this Binance chart. All right. Now the reason I want to talk about this is because for one, it hasn't taken off yet and there is some news as well. And we know that a lot of coins will be going mad in this market. All right, uh, but this one hasn't taken off yet. Okay, and I like to look for those coins that haven't taken off yet because we stand the best chance of making some good money when they finally do lift off. Okay, and one of the reasons that I think that this will lift off, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But if you look at the chart, as you can see, it hasn't done much. And this could be a huge double bottom which has formed. And we are on a three day chart. Okay, and we can even uh, lower that to the one day chart just so it's a little bit more immediate. Uh, but it looks like a huge double bottom where it came up and it got rejected from this level over here and it had a massive rejection all the way back down giving you a second chance to get into this token all right so you can see that there's resistance around this level okay and the support held around this level okay and obviously we have the huge bull run that's been taking place across the altcoin market and bearing in mind that there is only a BTC pair and this is available on Binance. In fact, there is actually another pair. If we look on CoinGecko, you'll see there, there's only a few pairings on this. Okay, so there's a pair on X for USDT. There's a pair on Uniswap for Ethereum, of course. On Huobi and Binance, there's only BTC pairs. And most of the volume, of course, is at Binance. So if people do rush into this, they're more than likely going to be buying the BTC pair. On Binance okay and if we look on CoinGecko you see all this strong buy activity okay on the 15 minute it's a strong buy on the one day it's a strong buy more or less on the one week it's still a strong buy even on the four hour it's still a strong buy so it's buy signals across the board if you even take this in cons into consideration I don't normally but I've always interested that that, that that was there okay but the market cap is only 76 million so it's still under a hundred million okay circulating supply you can see it right there okay so that's under a hundred uh, uh, under a billion as well and um, if we go to the website basically uh, request network is invoicing okay okay um back in the day they said it would have been like a rival to paypal and stuff like that but obviously over time it hasn't performed that well um just in comparison to some other coins in the market but i feel like it is gearing up for another move they are partnered with maker as well and they use their services as you can see read how maker dow utilizes requests for all their in and outbound payments in their latest customer story so it's definitely you, you can check out the website all right find out a little bit more about them okay but one thing that i did see is uh this non-english article which was written two days ago okay two days ago and apparently coinbase custody had listed request network okay so if you go over to coinbase custody and you type in request network you will actually see that that is on there okay and at current price at 10 cents okay so i think you know this getting onto coinbase custody um it's more than likely that it will kind of like end up on Coinbase eventually, uh, the Coinbase app, and then a lot more people will see this, you know. And with this being a low market cap, or you know, under a hundred million, and the price hasn't really taken off yet. I mean, when people get out of their Bitcoin, they're going to be looking for somewhere to, to 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 put their Bitcoin, right? Somewhere to 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 transfer it to to make those gains, so that you know when when bitcoin dominance falls uh, they can increase their bitcoin value with an altcoin and this could be one of them okay this is definitely as you can see it's creeping up slowly all right we do have this resistance here let's just mark that out so we've got some resistance over here all right but i believe once we break that resistance um it's going to be a big move ahead of course you can see after that resistance the next resistance is that level right there and if we draw a measured move if we do get a breakout of that level, I mean, the minimum is 145% potentially, right? Okay, and obviously if we break that level and it goes back to all-time highs, I believe it was around, it might have been around a dollar range or a little bit higher than that. Okay, but it's a long way up, basically, if you do a measured move from the bottom to the top. Okay, I'm not saying that it's going to 
hit its all-time highs and break into price discovery. You know, there's possibilities for that, of course. You know, for this to go from, what, 10 cents to a dollar would only be a 10x, all right? And obviously, if it uh, went to $10, would, would be a 100x on this token, all right? But, yeah, I think it's, a good, it's in a good position for, for... It might even just get a little rejection off here and come back around to test this level again. As you can see, it's done that a couple of times over here. And then when you got that breakout, you get that massive breakout all the way up to the resistance. But it has done that once. And I reckon that once it gets up here, it probably will break this resistance again and move to the upside. Okay. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Binding down here, I would say you're potentially buying the bottom of this token if you were to buy Request Network. Okay. So it's just a quick video about Request Network. Uh, like I said, um, the best place to pick this up would be on Binance, in my opinion. It's a BTC pair. But, you know, we may see some more upside for Bitcoin, okay? But I think even with the upside that we saw for Bitcoin and the, the recent drops that we saw, this hasn't really been affected by it, okay? And I think that that shows some strength or it definitely shows that this could be could well be the bottom, okay? You can see there's a failed breakout over here. We've got a spike, a volume spike over there and it came back down. But it has managed to crawl its way back up. And I do think that it's going to break this level uh, soon. Okay, so I'll put my money where my mouth is. And I have put a position on this. So this will be a short to midterm hold. Potentially a long term hold. Um, just depending on how it performs over the next few days and weeks and months. Okay, guys. So that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Like and comment. Let me know down in the comment section what you think about uh, Request Network. Do you think it has potential or, or, you know, should this be telling me something? Okay, the fact that it hasn't been performing as well as some of the, some of the other altcoins, is that like a sign of uh, not good things to come? I don't think so. Okay, I think that there's some extreme upside ready for this token. Like I said, been listed on Coinbase Custody. Okay, the next step will be Coinbase Pro. And after that, potentially... Coinbase. I said the same thing about Anchor, A N K R, where there was a report that Anchor was listed on Coinbase custody. Okay, now it hasn't been listed on Coinbase yet, but we did see those massive gains come out of Anchor. If we just have a quick look and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Obviously, in correlation with the whole altcoin market going forward, we talked about Anchor way down here, okay, just about a week ago. All right, and since then seen some massive gains out of anchor about 160 percent i think that request could be the next one to move in my opinion okay and don't shoot me if i'm wrong all right guys but i think that's about it for now if you're not subscribed to the channel like i said subscribe like and comment do me a favor and click the bell for notifications uh youtube likes to censor cryptocurrency content and all that so if you click the little bell you'll be able to get the videos as soon as they come out and not miss those opportunities all right guys i'll see you in the next video